and welcome back everybody and once again we are starting with a fighting scene yeah basically princess ching is taking this island here once again back to her it was in her um it was her island actually in the beginning and we took it and now miss hunt has it and it's get going back to princess ching it's pretty interesting what is happening with this island there all the time it's not very important to us anymore this island here because we don't have any important trade routes anymore going through this corridor so i don't care that much but of course we should be worried because princess ching once again is getting more and more powerful so i'm aiming for two island takeovers that we might go for um in the near future something to consider now in playa del carmen we have more fried plantains than ever and yet we're not making that much we have the productions up and running at least so we will now increase our fried plantain production here don't forget this is a massive town the uh, playa del carmen that we are building here and we do need fried plantains amongst many things a bit of rum perhaps we could also send to them to increase their happiness though tax income is not very very important in that area i've also reinforced um some defenses in the new world so we do have more cannons now than ever in um new world islands that i will need and i will also need yep more timber and bricks so in western front here we actually have there another clay deposit that i can use so let's just get all the way over here build us another beautiful warehouse and Another clay pit and two brick factories, right? It's basically the whole workforce for the Obreros. But at least we can do something in this regard. I should also be able now to build, yes, a few more cannon towers here in the Your western frontier. I'm absolutely not happy with the amount of cannons we had so far. So three more cannons Just coming up so. here as defense. We should be really going for that. And the next ironclad ship point. is coming out as well from our steam shipyards. Terra, in the meantime, is in Sleepy Hollow now, so we can finally put this old trade rod. It was one of the first trade rods, and it has a long history, as we can see. Um, back on track here, this time with a cargo ship. As we can see, the waypoints are laid out that it just passes through the islands there, and hopefully um, will survive for quite some time. It's a very fast ship, so, you know, it's just going from defended harbor to defended harbor all the time, so this should be working. Also, our six Attention, warships have arrived now, and with those guys here, yep, we're trying it once again to get to the location that we need. This time, however, I'm going to try a different route. So, we're going to take the back corridor. I'm not going through Princess Ching's um, areas anymore, because... Or actually, wait a second, we might take out those cannons there. Du -du -du -dum. Or the range, is in si the range is sick, so she's blocking us off here in this regard. I can't do that much, so we are just going to sell, sail uh, over the back corridor. And hopefully we can kind of like reach it. We could also sail down here, actually. Ah, the range is just so huge. We could sail down here and around Hugo Mercier's island kindness and going in from the other side than to this. I need to finish this quest. No gods, no masters. It's incredible. Um, we can't we can't just do it. Um, Princess Ching's island is sick, by the way. So this is incredible looking. It's truly incredible how strong the AI is. Let's purchase another share here on this island again. Hope she doesn't uh, purchase it back right that we have there i'm also purchasing another share here then soon once i am able to we should however still have a look at our balance right so that's why i've Shift got another um, ship full of materials back at nate and that's another yeah 188,000. it's not much though so brass is actually more worth than the weapons good to know mm, and yep bloop, 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 bloop more warships coming out the next ironclad that we're going to need here and we should also actually be doing the quests here from the queen i'm just going to do that in a second we really have to we really have to work on a priority list there of what is important right now i know there are a lot of things that we need to do all the time and it's just incredible that i'm well to do it all right so we can't do it all at once I'm going to build now another university in this area up here. So there we have it, right? So this is covering with that university, Ship that district. Attack. This one is covering the whole northern district then. And here we still have room for the eastern district of Crown Falls. Um, and let's just place in another beautiful university for this area. 
makes those artisans really happy. Another thing that we still need though is the variety theater. We should not be forgetting about that because it's very important for the happiness. We got one down here, so I will need to place another one here. So there we have the um, the space for the power plant that I need to um, keep reserved. But here we have a nice little block of artisans that I can actually get rid of. And instead of it, we're just going to have a nice little um, variety theater then just here lined up. Like so, I think, because there we can still have some nice um, entrances on either side where we have the doors, right? And then perhaps some smaller ornaments. Once again, the statue there in the front. Of course, they need to look towards the right direction. Can't have them looking away from the street. And... <laughs> a lion statue. Ooh, I could have had the lion statue. We can have the lion statue on the back there. Right, looking towards the, the back entrance where the actors are going through. And then some nice little bushes here along the road. I just love these as well. Oh, and by the way, this is looking horrible with the, the dirt roads around it. So we definitely should be having some more paved roads in this area too. There we got the uh, variety theater yeah, now for this district That's and the university. Building. And that means most certainly, yep, that I can upgrade once again. A lot of people in this area, and we might actually, should we push for more engineers at this point? Let's just check my consumption rates there real quick. Can we afford that? For the canned food, yes, we can. The swing machines, we cannot. Um, the rum is fine. Fur coats is fine. Actually, we can. Ship yeah. under attack. Let's push more engineers, especially this district here around the sanatorium that we have there and boom and perhaps also this whole district there oh that's actually workers going all the way to this side there and there is another whole bunch of them now um, lined up here as well those guys here still want an upgrade let's do this and don't forget, I'm saving a lot of space then once I can get rid of all the marketplaces then. But this is fine. Um, we still have a couple of more windows. So let's just upgrade this whole area there too. And once again, I'm way too greedy. So we are actually upgrading probably more than we could. Um, but we'll have to fight this then once again. Of course, let's also just pave the roads there real quick. Under attack. For those guys. So we can't have engineers there with dirt roads, of course. They would be really bad. And I know there are ships under attack, but what can I do? There are always ships under attack. Oh, by the way, really important. I've got my main fleet down here. I should not forget about them. My main fleet is going around Hugo. Um, we are going to make some waypoint system here. Going then to this point and here. And here we are probably going to clash with a few warships at some point. Ship Let's just see how they do. Right, it's one of the last um, fleets that I have with sailings or with sails. Um, we are only going to focus on battle cruisers and ironclads now. And there we got a few more out here. Or actually, in, f in fact, actually, since we do have the slots for it, let's also just have some heavy warships there coming out as well. Just about fine. There we have once again a little sickness there because I was always wondering why we would have the plague and have bring so many times. We only have farmers here. But of course, ships are actually bringing in the sickness like this one here. And boom, it's starting again. It's starting to spread. So what we're going to need in half brink, we have to build a hospital. We have the materials now. I could also have a smaller one, but let's go with the normal one, right? Here in the center. It's totally actually, you know, over-constructed, having a hospital in a farmer village, but what can you do? In a globalized world where we have constant trading routes coming in, um, if one of those ships has the sickness, well then, basically the whole town has it. Ah, very good. And also in Playa del Carmen, we can upgrade more um, farmers to obreros. So let's just do this as well, because as we know, this is our obrero island actually um we have a lot of industry here though so in that case we don't really have that many obreros but that's why i upgrading more of them um and over here as well and those guys here perhaps right oh 500 in again it's just the fact that you need a really a lot of them a lot of these guys um of the obreros for your industry for now it's working on the coffee industry now speaking of the coffee my balance People is pretty high but i should get not sick. get fooled by that we are running out of coffee um, and that's why i'm building more and more cargo ships now as well 
Um, so that we have our coffee beans uh, production up there again. And I will probably use these ships here as defense in the new world. Once they, um, once they fulfill their very, very important mission here. Because our aim right now, beside of course Crown Falls, is to build an alliance with Hugo. And for that we do need to do his quests. Which is over here. Deep in enemy territory. Territory surrounded by Princess Ching and Miss Hunt's Islands. And as you can see, she already spotted me and is on the way with quite a few heavy warships, in fact. Lucky the heavy warships have a huge range, so we should be able to at least incapacitate this one. Or yeah, scare it off. That is even more important. And off you go. Um, off you go, right, for Hugo. <laughs> okay, that was bad, but we'll just continue here nevertheless. Up into this channel. It looks good right now, so they're backing off again. So we actually have a chance this time of breaking through this corridor. Right, we are through the channel here. Um, actually, in safety, there's an oil tanker from... Um, Miss Hunt that I just want to take out because it's fun and as we can see it's going down rather quickly Faster than I thought it would go down. So this is just a little satisfaction of course. It doesn't really mean anything in the long run down you go and Let's continue down there. Actually the oil tanker dropped some items. We want to look at that would be interesting No, it's just oil this one. I cannot pick up this one. I can pick up Potatoes the oil tanker had some potatoes on board probably for the kitchen Let's continue. Actually, we made it. I'm really happy about this. Now, let's just have a look at the quest here. The number of people joining Dr. Mercy's Utopia has suddenly halted. And he suspects the Queen may be to blame. He needs you to conduct some investigations into this matter. Um, yep, that's basically it. Let's just see. There is a ship that was sunk. Um, help, please. We are attacked on our way to Dr. Hugo's Utopia. Oh, we worked so hard to build those ships and now all of them burn to ashes. The attackers, they bore the crown sigil. Don't leave us here, I beg you. Attention Let's take them. The three of them. Yep, three of them. Um, let's Fleet put some escort. escort onto these ships here. And now is another very um, difficult task that we need to get to Sleepy Hollow. Passing Miss Hunt's ships let and harbor area here actually but her harbor defenses are on complete different sides so we should be able to squeeze through this oh no we are not there are some weapons oh come on we have to go through this channel again through this channel up here there's no defense on that side into sleepy hollow thanks to our three steam yard sh steam shipyards we can get out ships quite quickly and we're going to send now those cargo ships, the Gussler and Axum to the New World, right? Let's go for it, um, Western Frontier first, because that's easy. And from there, we can start the trade route right away for the coffee. Off they go, hopefully successfully so. We are also forming our very first steam um, battleship fleet, right? So consisting of ironclads and battle cruisers. That is going to help us then on the, the quest of actually making our oceans secure here. Very important that we do that. Now, let's just check once again our district. So the um, variety theater is finished. The um, university is finished too. So down here, we still have now the space for yet another university that I would like to squeeze in like that. And probably along the the main road, yep. Uh, it's looking quite, quite like a distance there, right? Nah, that should be fine actually. Let's have the university. And right next to it also the Variety Theater. And... Yeah, like this. Ship under attack. Not every Variety Theater has to be full of ornaments there. That's important. And one more building that I wanted to build now for quite some time is the prison. Ship A modded building attack. that we haven't built yet. It's like the sanatorium, an upgraded version of... Um, the police station, the right, and is going building, through a very, very, well, big area. We just have to decide where we should be building that prison. My goal is to have two prisons there at least. Um, and I think one prison might be pretty nice up here in the industrial zone. So there we have um, a few buildings that we actually don't really need here, right? So this one there, there we have this double road that leads to nowhere anyway. I mean, we do have here our 
main road going up there anyway. That makes it possible here to build something. And in this case, it's going to be the prison. It's of course not in the strategic best location, but it's going to take this whole northern part into account and we might actually build a second prison then down here for this whole area. But once again, we have police stations as well. So um, in that case, shouldn't be the biggest problem. Let's just see how big it is. There it is. That's the prison. It's just looking fantastic. Um, and we still need a proper better location for it. We could also have it up here. So it's towering over the whole crown folds, which looks amazing too. The schnapps distilleries we can actually move. Let's do it like that. Let's get rid of the schnapps distilleries here. Oh, and newspaper edition. Let's just go for this real quick. Um, money and happiness. This is all my people want. Actually, we can back down on the um, propaganda for the money then soon. Let's get rid of all of these schnapps distilleries here of the warehouse. And this is more or less for the looks. I mean, we have enough police stations and the, the prison will be um, having quite a lot of police officers there too. A propaganda quest. Yes, sorry, Hugo, I, I just did the propaganda. And that speaks, or Hugo reminds me of something, my fleet. Oh, once again, it's getting into the area there, but we should be fine. Where is the castaways? There they are. And where's the ship? There it is. And there we can actually finish No Gods, No Masters Part 1. While that is coming in safely, let's build us the prison. In all its glory, there we have it. Um, let's actually make a nice entrance to it. And I would like it to be surrounded by walls. So this way. Boom! I mean, look at how beautiful that is. Fantastic building. Um, a little entrance in front of it. Of course, now we do need some paved roads then also. Going all the way to the city itself. And what I also would like to have is, since it's a prison, we should also have a nice little wall around it walling this whole area off again because they're not the friendliest of people in here then and here too yes let's hand in the quest let's also just check this flamethrowers so what uh, that's what the queen has been up to well i guess the apple doesn't fall far from the tree after all we will have to be very worried about that um, we do get um, something for the town hall that increases the attractiveness by plus 30. We might be using that later. Um, that is the first thing. So we now have to wait a couple of, I think, minutes to get the next part of this um, quest line that we need to go towards alliances there. Poo, it's looking once again rather dirty there. Oh, and by the way, another thing that uh, we need to check real quick. Western Frontier. Nope, my ships have not yet arrived. They're still on the way for my coffee trade routes that we need to get up again. But let's just have a look there once again at my prison. Um, perhaps a little ornament in front of it? No. But the gates... No, let's not have that. This is looking a bit too bad then. Let's just have it off here. And of course, some nice little cornerstones around it. On all of that. Now, isn't that a pretty cool building? I just absolutely love it. Um, it's a bit further outside now. So, of course, um, the police takes a bit of time. <laughs> so many details here. They actually got the, the prisoners up there. And the cool thing about this one here now is that um, we can actually see this throughout the whole city. Right? So, over there we have our prison. Of course, once again, it's there beside the potato fields. But we don't need the potato fields forever. Right? So, instead of that, we're going to have something else then. And it's... Uh, vicinity. And let's just have a look. As we can see, there are four police officers right now in action going through the rides here. This is what I would like to see. And actually, yep, let's have another bigger block of houses there then as well. As we go towards the the prison then. So this will be fine here. Very good. And for the schnapps distilleries that we still need to rebuild. I mean, I don't think that I need that much schnapps anymore. But still, let's have two more in that side. And up here, we still have a bit of room there. Um, thanks to getting rid of the sail makers. So let's just build another four um, distilleries here. No problem whatsoever. Ship under attack. And yes. Fine for now. The ride should be under control then as well. We still need to think about a second prisoner uh, prison, but look at how uh, the, the range is. So it's the whole island. It's almost affecting the whole island. Pretty cool stuff. The state prison that we have there now. Right up there. Perhaps we have another one in the city then itself as well, where it also might fit in. 
Let's also go for more ornaments. Um, so we have these spots here open where I can place a few little trees in there um, to brighten the whole day, of course. So the poplar trees. That's a really cute name for those guys here. So this is looking, yeah, like in any city, really. Right, I don't want to have normal trees in that regard. They're also quite expensive, actually. So the whole row here cost me 2,500 credits. That wasn't possible before, but now we can actually do it. And now we can really make this whole city there with these ornaments. And then it's starting to look like something, right? Because up to this point, we only had some empty green spots there. Um, but at least for the streets, we can have these poplar trees here then. For the courtyards, well, we might be thinking about the fountains that we have unlocked already. Beautiful so far as the rioters are getting beaten down and well brought to prison then just over there. Ship under attack.